the landlord's job is hard enough, but what happens when terrible tenants make life even harder? Whether it is paying rent late or causing damage to your property, handling troublesome occupants is no easy task. Today, we examine the common traits of these problem renters, along with seven key tips to navigate these tricky situations. Hey everyone, it's Alyssa here from Bay Property Management Group. Our dedicated team of industry professionals proudly serves owners throughout Maryland, Pennsylvania, Washington, D.C., and Virginia. Before we get started, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content on creating passive income through real estate, plus helpful tips on owners, investors, managers, and tenants. So with that said, let's jump into today's video. Most landlords will deal with difficult tenants at some point or another, and it's not easy. So spotting these individuals early is key to avoiding an even worse situation. To help property owners, we have listed examples of terrible tenants that fall into five different categories. Number one, a bull in a china shop. Property damage is always something that landlords want to avoid, as the related costs and hassle can add up quickly. Ideally, a tenant will care for and respect the property as if it were their own, but sadly, this is not always the case. Unfortunately, terrible tenants will damage the unit, not report maintenance needs in a timely manner, or even make unauthorized changes to the property. Number two, a day late and a dollar short. Landlords rely on timely rent collection, often to pay their own bills, but terrible tenants do not care what your needs are. So it is no surprise that late or non-payers make the top of this list of problem tenants. While a late payment every now and then is common even for the best of tenants, habitual lateness or no attempt to pay the rent at all is a serious problem for landlords. Number three, laws are merely suggestions. Individuals that think they can get away with anything are a problem for landlords for obvious reasons. If someone thinks that the laws do not apply to them, they will have no respect and thus put owners, neighbors, or the property at risk. A common example of this would be engaging in drug activity, violent crimes, or causing nuisance complaints. Number four, perpetual complainers. Landlords appreciate a cooperative tenant who follows the rules and cares for the property. However, some tenants will never be happy no matter what you do. These perpetual complainers will call at all hours to make demanding and unreasonable requests, often ignoring the processes you have in place as a landlord. Number five, strangers welcome. Tenants are allowed to have visitors, but when that turns into extended stays, multiple overnight guests, or a full sublet of the unit, this spells trouble for landlords. Extended or unauthorized guests present a liability, and depending on the circumstances, getting them out can become a long and expensive battle through the courts. So for landlords that find themselves in these situations, what can you do? By recognizing the telltale characteristics of terrible tenants early, landlords can prepare and respond accordingly to any problems that arise. While having a rock-solid lease, along with legally compliant screening and policies is vital, there are other things that landlords can do to drive the outcome of these unfortunate situations. Our first suggestion is to remain calm, objective, and rational. It is easy to become frustrated or angry when tenants cause problems. However, reacting in this manner only makes the situation worse. So landlords cannot let their decisions become clouded by emotions and instead must remain the voice of reason at all times. Next, it is vital for owners to keep records of everything. Avoiding conflict with your tenants should always be a priority, and one way to help eliminate this risk is to keep a written record of everything. Although thorough record keeping requires extra effort, it serves to protect the landlord against terrible tenants, but also amidst all types of potential disputes. Tip number three is to teach tenants how they should treat you as a landlord. In fact, the landlord-tenant relationship is much like any other relationship. Therefore, your actions must reflect how you expect to be treated. Otherwise, tenants could take advantage of your goodwill. For example, if the tenant misses a rent payment and you do not immediately enforce the lease terms, they may think they can get away with it. So be sure to stand firmly behind all agreed-upon terms and practice clear and professional communication at all times. Another way to turn a terrible tenant around is to try to get them on your side. Kill them with kindness is not just an old adage. It can actually work. Often a disgruntled or difficult tenant just wants to be heard and know that their concerns matter. 
As a landlord, it is key to implement strategies that allow for quick and efficient handling of all maintenance issues, tenant calls, or complaints. While this method can be tough at times, patience and persistence will prevail. Once you have created a good relationship with your tenants, you will typically find that they're more likely to comply with your rules. When all else fails, asking the terrible tenants to leave the property is another suggestion. Sometimes, despite a landlord's best intentions, the breaking point will come. When that happens, attempting to get the tenants to voluntarily leave could be the best option. While not easy, it isn't impossible. To begin, send them a formal notice to vacate that complies with all applicable laws and the terms of the lease. Keep in mind, landlords cannot forcibly remove someone, so if they do not vacate once notice is given, the only option is eviction. And that brings us to the final step of beginning the eviction process. Although no one wants to deal with an eviction, sometimes it's the only option left. Landlords must be familiar with the eviction requirements and laws in their area, as this can be a lengthy and costly process. Also, keep in mind that not getting along with the tenant is not a sufficient reason for eviction. In general, landlords can only evict if the tenant has failed to pay rent, failed to move after the lease ends, or has violated any of the lease terms. Our final tip for dealing with terrible tenants, or any tenant, is to hire a property manager. Being a landlord can be a full-time job even with the best of tenants. However, a qualified property manager allows owners free time and the peace of mind knowing that their best interests are being looked out for. These professionals know all applicable laws, offer thorough applicant screening, provide a solid rental agreement, and provide the necessary customer service expertise to handle a multitude of issues. If you are an owner struggling with terrible tenants, the road to peace can seem endless. With any luck, the tips in this video will help you deal with the variety of occupants you may come across in your rental properties. But remember, one surefire way to reduce the stresses of rental investment while still reaping the benefits is to work with professionals. For more advice on a variety of issues important to the rental industry, subscribe to the Bay Property Management Group channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on exclusive content. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.